Hey, today I'm going to do an epoxy resin pour. Uh, I've got this is the uh, Art and Glow. So far, I've been I've been playing around with this, and I really like this epoxy. Uh, there's a bunch of different kinds out there, but I've been real happy with this stuff so far. It's got a 40 minute work time, which is really good for these things. Uh, it dries clear, it flows good, and then it's two part resin, resin and hardener. And then I've got uh, I think I'm going to go with these three colored micas. And these are some micas that a friend of mine named Terry at Soapbox Micas or Soapbox Micas sent to me uh, as sample packs. She sent me a ton of stuff though, and I really appreciate it. So I'm going to use some of these colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset up. I'm going to mix my resin, and I'm going to go into three separate cups and then add my micas into them, and then we'll get ready to pour. Okay, I've decided this is roughly a 10 by 10 masonite board and or MDF board I guess it is and so I'm going to attempt about three ounces and one of the things that I've been curious about I've been mixing this stuff by weight to get equal amounts but I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour an ounce and a half of one and then add an ounce and a half in the other and see if the weights end up being the same because I don't know for sure whether weight is completely accurate because some things have different densities so I'm not sure whether it's going to come out the same or not so I'm going to give it a try. So I've got this thing zeroed out with my cup on here and I've got increments over here on the side. So I'm going to go with an ounce and a half of the resin. Okay, an ounce and a half of resin ended up being 53 grams. So then we're going to go with an ounce and a half of the hardener and see where that puts us. Okay, that's my three ounces and we've got 93 grams. So 43 grams compared to 50 or 40 grams compared to 53 grams. So weight may not actually be the way to do the, uh, the resin. I know I've, I've done it that way, I've measured it out by weight and it cures up and does fine, but so measuring it out in an actual cup may be a better route. I'll do a little bit more research on that too. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to bother you with this, this stuff needs to mix three to five minutes, so I'm going to mix this up and we'll come back and we'll pour it in individual cups and then we'll add our uh, micas in there. Okay, I've taken this and I've mixed it for a little over five minutes, and it's uh, it's still got it's got a ton of air bubbles in it, but that's no big deal. We'll take care of that. But it's very fluid. I got it mixed good. Scrape the sides good. Scrape the bottoms good. Make sure I got it all mixed good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour it as evenly as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to pour it <clears throat> even amounts in all three cups. Okay, so I've got that in there. So this is a rose gold mica cosmetic grade mica iron oxide. It's a cool looking color. So I'm going to go with that. And then this one is the golden emerald mica. It's also cosmetic, cosmetic grade. Not that that matters for what I'm doing here, but and I'm not being real picky about how much I mix in there. My experience with epoxy resin is as long as you get enough to make your color solid. And that one is a platinum mica. So get those out of the way. And this is going to be some more mixing. So what I'll do, I'll mix these up so you can see the see the colors but I'll fast forward through this so I don't bore you with too much time on this okay my plan on this is I'm gonna pour 
a couple of the colors. I'm going to heat it up, and I'm using the heat gun on this instead of the torch. I like the heat gun because the heat gun will help flow the epoxy. Once you start heating it up, the flow gets better with it. And what I really like about this heat gun, it's got adjustable temperatures, and then it's got a low speed and a high speed. So depending on what you're wanting exactly, you can control the speed and you can control the temperature. Heat gun works really good. There will be a link to that down in the description. If you're looking for a heat gun, I really like that one for, for epoxy work. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to start out with this metallic. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to go, I'm going to fast forward through this and play a little bit of music, but I'm going to start out just applying a couple of the colors, two of the colors, and then I'm going to come back and use the third color as kind of a highlight.
Okay, I could have gone on with that all day, but that came out really cool. Uh, once I got the heat going on it and got it flowing good, then that let me mix all my colors together. Uh, I like the color combo. And I'm not worried about the edges, in case you're wondering about this, I'm not worried about the edges. I'm probably going to just I'll let whatever happened on the edges happen on the edges, and I'm going to frame this one. Uh, so I'll just build a simple frame, put around it. But anyway, I'm real tickled with that. Uh, there's a couple places, like right here, and it looks like maybe it's from the powder, where the powder didn't dissolve good. But I don't think it's going to be that noticeable. But anyway, real happy with the pattern, the color combo. And the, the micas are great. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to Soapbox Micas, uh, where I got my mica colors from. Uh, so if you're looking for some really unique colors, she has tons of different colors, really unique colors that you're not going to find typically on, you know, Amazon or in your craft stores or art stores. So anyway, I'm going to let this dry and then I will come and uh, do a close up of it. I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.